Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a paint splatter reveal effect in DaVinci Resolve 17.2.1. Inside your edits window, hold in control and press I to insert a video clip and a collection of paint splatter images into your project's media pool. Use command instead of control if you are a Mac user. Ensure that the paint splatter in your chosen images comprises of one particular color shade which cannot be found in its surroundings. In my example project here, the images that I will choose will comprise of black paint on top of white paper. Inside your media pool, find the thumbnail of your chosen video for this project and select the icon which appears in the bottom right corner as you hover your mouse cursor over this to open up the clip attributes. My chosen video comprises of a frame rate of 30. The number of stills that each second of your video clip will comprise of will help us determine where to position the paint splatter images. Click on your video thumbnail and drag this to the start of your edits timeline. I'm going to select one of the thumbnails of my JPEG paint splatter image files and drag this down to the point on my edits timeline away from the video file. Click and drag the red playhead to a point above the paint splatter edit. Now go to click on the color tab. The paint splatter image should automatically appear inside this new color window. Since the image that I have chosen is in portrait format and comprises of black surroundings, what I need to do is isolate the splatter effect from the two sides and the white background so that these splatters can be used to reveal my video file. In order to do this, underneath Window, select Linear, select the white circles on the frame which appears in your preview window and drag these with your mouse cursor to surround the paint splatter effect. Ensure that any other surroundings are not included inside this frame. And so in this particular example, the left and right black sides of this chosen image file do not appear inside the frame. Go to select the Qualifier tool and click anywhere inside your splatter. As we can see in the notes panel to the right, only the black splatter color has been selected. Right click on the nodes grid and go to add alpha output. Select the blue box towards the bottom right side of your paint splatter node and drag your mouse cursor to the blue circle which appears to the right side. The alpha output ensures that the colors surrounding my paint splatter will be transparent. And so in this case here, the white shade will not be shown. Return to your edits window. Right click on your paint splatter edit and go to select new compound clip. I intend to create three paint splatter effects altogether. I will call this first one paint splatter one. Go to create once you've typed in the name. You may now remove the paint splatter edit from your timeline. Go to your media pool. You should now find a thumbnail for your paint splatter compound clip inside this. Repeat these steps for all of your paint splatter images. Once you have created all necessary compound clips, right click on your video clip on the edits timeline and go to open infusion page. Click and drag your media in one node to create space before the blue triangle which appears to the left of this initial node. Towards the top of your fusion window, find the media pool, select your first paint splatter compound clip and drag this to the node section. With the media in node of your paint splatter image selected, hold shift and press space. To open up the select tool window, use the search box at the bottom to find the transform XF tool. Select this and go to click on add. With this transform node selected, hold in shift and press space again and go to add a merge tool. This merge node will enable two paint splatter effects to be added to your video clip. Add more using the select tool window if you wish to add more paint splatter effects. In this case here, since I'm using three splatter images, I will need to add one more merge node. Ensure that your latest merge node is selected before inserting this. Once you have all necessary merge nodes, select the grey box which appears to the right of your final merge node 
and drag your mouse cursor to the blue arrow which appears to the left of media in one to make a connection. Inside the media pool, I will go to select the thumbnail of my second paint splatter image and drag this down to the node section just above the green arrow which appears to the top of the first merge node. And I will click and drag from the thumbnail of the third paint splatter image down towards the second and final merge node to incorporate all paint splatter compound clips into this particular video file. Ensure that you add transform tools just as we did with the first paint splatter image, connecting each of these after the media in nodes, representing your paint splatter images, and connecting each transform node to a merge node via the green foreground input arrow. Select the media in node representing your first paint splatter image. Go to inspector, the global in and out variable determines where the paint splatter will appear on this particular video clip. In this case here, we will first see this paint splatter effect at frame zero, and it will disappear after frame 149, after five seconds of screen time. For my final video, I wish for the first paint splatter effect to appear after two seconds of screen time and remain on screen for the rest of the video's duration. Once the first splatter effect appears, I wish for the second one to appear half a second later, followed by the third paint splatter after another half of a second of screen time. Since we identified earlier that the video clip comprises of 30 frames per second, we need to set the global in value to the frame number which represents the two second mark. In this case here, it will be frame 60. And since I want the paint splatter to appear for the rest of the video clip, we need to drag the second circle which appears on this line right to the end, to the final frame number, frame 498. Part of the line here has changed green, indicating that we are stretching the paint splatter compound clip beyond its original duration. At present there is no paint splatter effect appearing on the preview window, as my frame pointer is set to zero. If I change this to frame 60, where I've set the first paint splatter image to appear, we can see a preview of this on screen now. If you are not satisfied with the location of the paint splatter, select the transform tool connected to the media in node representing the paint splatter that you are currently editing. In this case here in my project, it will be transform one. Return to inspector and underneath controls, change the center X and Y values to reposition the paint splatter effect. You can also rotate the paint splatter by changing the angle value and its size. For this first paint splatter, I will decrease this value to 0.8. I will now go to select the media in node, representing my second paint splatter image. Return to inspector. Ensure that global out refers to the final frame number in your video clip. Since the first paint splatter appeared at frame 60, and that I want my second splatter to appear half a second later, global in needs to be set to a value 15 frames after the frame number where the first paint splatter appears. Since paint splatter one appeared at frame 60, paint splatter two here will first appear at frame 75. And again, use the transform tool for your latest paint splatter compound clip to change the rotation, size, and positioning values of this particular image. And finally, for the third paint splatter compound clip stored in media in four in my example project here, global out will again be set to 498, the final frame in my video clip, and the global in value will be set to a number 15 frames after the first appearance of paint splatter two. Since paint splatter two appeared at the 75th frame, this third splatter effect will appear at frame 90. Select the transform node connected to the media in tool, storing your latest paint splatter effect. In this case here, it will be transform three and return to the control section under inspector to modify the appearance of this. At present, if I preview my video, the entire clip is revealed on screen before the splatter effects appear. I wish for there to be a black screen at the start of the video clip, which will be eventually revealed by the splatter patterns after two seconds of screen time. In order to achieve this, return to your edits window, 
Use the Go to Previous Edits button to return to the start of your video clip. Select your video clip. Go to Inspector and under Video, scroll down to find the Composite Properties. Select the keyframe for the Opacity value. Change the Opacity value itself to 0 so that the video is removed from the preview screen. Now hold in K and tap L to move the red playhead to the frame before that where your first paint splatter image is revealed. Hold in K and press J to move back to a previous frame if necessary. In this particular project it will be at the 1 second and 29 frame mark. Select the keyframe diamond icon next to opacity once again. Now hold in K and tap L once to move the red playhead forward by one frame to the point on your video clip where your first paint splatter will appear. Now go to change opacity to 100. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you found the content helpful and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.